Greetings Options Traders. Today is Friday, January 22nd, 2021. And in this lesson, we're going to talk about how sometimes an options chain does not have enough straight prices to keep up with the unusual activity of certain stocks. Let's take a look at the one year daily chart for GameStop, ticker symbol GME. And I want to say thank you to Lance for telling me about GameStop. Notice in this one year chart that for a long time, GameStop was trading below $5. And then all of a sudden, in September of 2020, it started rising, but it was rising very, very slowly. And then all of a sudden, in January of 2021, the stock shot up after some positive news was announced regarding the company. GameStop pretty much went from $19 a share all the way up to $76.76. And that is quite a jump. Of course, a lot of the experts are surmising that this is a short squeeze. But regardless of the reason for this jump, I noticed today that on the options chains, the strike prices stopped at $60. So that means the CBOE was not keeping up with what was actually happening in the marketplace. I checked several of these expiration cycles and I noticed that the highest strike price was $60, even though the actual price of the stock had reached $76. Just for fun, let's look at the February 5, 2021 option cycle. So what's interesting is that the lowest strike price is at 50 cents, and then it goes up in 50 cent increments, and it stopped at $60. So if you're ever trading an option and you notice something like this, where it looks like the options chain is missing some straight prices, all you need to do is call your brokerage and ask the broker to contact the CBOE and ask them to add a few more straight prices. If you're trading with Thinkorswim, all you need to do is call the 800 number and ask for the trade desk. If you talk to a representative from another department, that person may not know what to do to fix this problem. So I called Think or Swim today, and the gentleman was very nice. And he told me that he has submitted a request to ask the CBOE to add a few more strikes on the upside. And the reason I was looking for some higher strike prices is because I am considering selling some call spreads on GameStop sometime in the near future. So hopefully when I log in next week, I will see some more straight prices for these expiration cycles. Thank you for watching.